What is going on, guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Let's get into the news. The first story of the day is about the PlayStation 1. PlayStation 1 came out, what, like 94, 95? That's 1994, 95. And uh, when I was, that was, I'm a 90s kid, and uh, at least my teenage years were, and I was a big PlayStation 1 fan. I loved it. I used to play it a hell, hell of a lot. And it looks like they are bringing a digital uh, PlayStation one console to market uh, that would that's up for pre-order right now it's a hundred dollars and it's uh, coming out on December 3rd and it comes with 20 games and five of those games they haven't announced all the games but five of those games are uh, Final Fantasy 7 Jumping Flash Ridge Racer 4 Tekken 3 and Wild Arms also included are two wired controllers a virtual memory card and an HDMI cable. And it's gonna give you the ability to play this PlayStation console. It's 45% smaller than the original PlayStation and you can connect it very easily again with that HDMI cable to the TV. So if you're excited about that console, let me know in the comments down below. Or if you just like PlayStation 1, again, let me know in the com comments down below. And the last story of the day is about the Galaxy S9, S9 Plus, Android Pie or Android 9.0 update. It's gonna bring some major changes to the Galaxy S9 line of software and the way that you interact with the phone. So checking out this first screenshot, you're gonna see that everything is just a little bit more rounded. Um, I actually like the way it looks. It's very modern and sleek looking. Um, starting off from the bottom, you can see the icons for the navigation buttons down there. Uh, you see the back button, the home button, and then the recent apps button. I don't know, I think they just look I don't know, slightly better, more modern, uh, more sleek. Um, and then if you work your way up on that middle screenshot, you'll see uh, the quick toggles. And then right below that, you'll see notifications. Just again, more rounded um, than rather than they are now, just where now they're just square uh, or rectangular and they just kind of, you know, fit into uh, the style of the phone the way it is now with the rest of the software. Um, and then you see the recent apps button. This is the way I have my, rec have my recent apps now. Uh, if you use GoodLock, if you don't know what GoodLock is, I did a video on it um, and it allows you to do stuff like this. But I already have my apps looking like this and I don't mind this way at all. Um, it's a little bit, it gives you the ability to see the whole screen, uh, even though it's a little window. So you can see that whole uh, window that's in front of you and see what's going on in it. Uh, so I like that ability for that. The next screenshot we're gonna look at is gonna show uh, motions and gestures. And you can see on motions and gestures, you got lift to wake, smart stay, smart alert, easy mute, direct call, all this stuff we've kind of had before on here but it just again it just gives you a look at the settings and how the settings are going to look versus what they look like today you still have the battery optimization uh, and then under display again you still have all the really the same stuff that i've we've grown to know before the other one the last one we're going to look at is navigation bar and this is big because this is different on android uh, pi already and if you look at the bottom there you can see Show no navigation bar, and that's going to be where you, you normally would hit the back, the home, and the recent apps button, or you can go, you can do the home, back, recent actions button. It looks like what it does is it hides those buttons, and for everything, you'll just swipe up. So if you want to go back, um, you'd swipe up from the bottom left. If you want to go home, you'd swipe up from the top. If you want to open up your recent apps, you'd swipe up from the bottom right. And that's the way it looks like they're doing it rather than doing it the you know general way that Google has it. Uh, it looks like Samsung's gonna be doing it their own way. So there you guys go. What do you think about the new update that's coming out for the Galaxy S9 in terms of the way it looks? Do you like the new navigation or the ability to change that navigation to use all kind of swipes? Let me know in the comments down below. I like the way it looks. I. We'll, I'll see if I'll end up liking the way, you know, just swiping up for everything uh, to navigate the phone uh, or if I'll just use the traditional way and kind of just use the back, the home and the recent apps because I still feel like that still is a, a perfectly fine way to navigate with the phone. I don't, what, whatever, everything needs to change and get updated, I, I think, at times to keep it fresh and keep it modern. So I guess that's the way it goes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys down the road. Peace.